Hey, Mr. Fox here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I made this little frisbee from silicon using a 3D printed mold. All right, let's take a look at the mold assembly. We can see it is made out of two parts, top and bottom part. And in the middle we have our frisbee that will be molded. In the top part there is a hole where liquid silicon will be injected. And in the bottom part there is a hole for excess material. I want my frisbee to have my logo on it, that's why I have placed a stamp insert at the bottom. First I 3D print both parts of the mold. Then I prepare my logo for laser engraving to make the logo stamp insert. I make the insert from 3mm thick acrylic sheet. I do 5 passes of engraving to make it nice and deep. The next important step is to spray all mold parts with the release agent. After the parts are sprayed, I press in the logo stamp. Now I can close the mold and screw it together. I apply hot glue around the seam to prevent any material leaking. This is not always necessary, but just to be sure, I do it this time. Here I cut a piece of straw and glue it over the hole where excess material will flow out. I prepare the syringe and seal the nozzle with tape. This will make sense in a second. And next, I put material mixing cup on scale and set it to zero. For this project I'm using two component dental silicon with Shore 32A. It is easy to work with as the mixing ratio is 1 to 1. First I pour around 23 grams of component A. Then the same amount of component B. Now I mix the materials for a minute or so. Mixing will introduce some bubbles, so after mixing you want to wait for them to come to surface and pop. Here I fill my syringe and insert the plunger. Then I press until material comes to the tip, letting all of the air out. Then I put a nozzle adapter that fits inside the injection hole. Here I hold the mold at around 45 degree angle, so that the injection hole is the lowest point and the material escape hole is the highest point. Doing it this way there should be no bubbles getting trapped inside the mold. All of them should come out at the top. I squeeze until I see material filling up the straw. Then I quickly seal the bottom hole with a piece of modeling clay. I leave the mold at an angle and wait for material to set.
After 20 minutes the part is ready and can be demolded. And here comes the big moment, let's see how it turned out. I'm very happy with the result, there are no air bubbles and my logo turned out great. Now some finishing touches with the pliers and it's done. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you learned something. I will go now and uh, throw this frisbee around, but I will see you in the next video. Bye!